Do you know how to test a MOSFET using a multimeter? If not, you're about to learn, and more importantly, understand why your meter gives the readings it does. A MOSFET may have just three legs, gate, drain, and source. But inside, it's more than just a switch. There's a hidden body diode between drain and source in most power MOSFETs which affects testing results. This diode conducts current in one direction, even when the gate is off. Many MOSFETs also have a Zener diode or TVS diode from gate to source. It's there to protect the gate from static or voltage spikes. This protection can slightly affect multimeter readings, especially on sensitive digital meters. Here are the two MOSFETs we'll use in today's test. IRF-Z44N and N-channel MOSFET commonly used in motor drivers and switching regulators. IRF-9540NAP channel MOSFET often used for high side switching. We'll test both types step by step and explain every reading you'll see on the meter. Alright, set your multimeter to diode mode. This mode sends a small voltage to measure semiconductor junctions, exactly what we need. So, place the red probe on the drain and the black probe on the source. You'll see a reading of around 0.4 to 0.7 volts. This is the body diode conducting. Now, reverse the probes, and you should see OL, meaning the diode is blocking in that direction. Next, momentarily touch the red probe to the gate. This charges the gate and turns the MOSFET on. Now current flows through the channel, not just the diode. You may still see around 0.4 to 0.6 volts, but now it's from the channel, not the diode. To turn it off, just short the gate to the source. You can use a screwdriver, a metal strip, or even your finger for this. This discharges the gate and yeah, turns the MOSFET off again. For a P-channel MOSFET, the diode direction is reversed. So, red to source and black to drain should give you something like 0.4 to 0.7 volts. Now, if you reverse the probes, red on drain and black on source, you should get OL, which means the diode is now blocking. To turn it on, just touch the black probe to the gate while the red probe stays on the source. That gives the negative gate source voltage that P-channel MOSFETs need. Then, recheck the drain source path will now conduct. So shorting the gate to the source actually discharges the gate, which turns the MOSFET off again, and you'll see OL on drain to source if it's good. So, what does a bad MOSFET look like? Well, if all the pins show continuity, or you see very low resistance, it's probably shorted. On the other hand, if you never see any conduction, even after charging the gate, it's open. And, if you get weird or inconsistent readings, there might be leakage or some internal breakdown going on. Let's break down what the readings actually mean. If you see a voltage between 0.4 and 0.7 volts in diode forward mode, that means the body diode is okay. If you get OL or over limit in the reverse diode test, the diode is blocking like it should. After you charge the gate, a reading between 0.2 and 0.6 volts means the channel is on. After you discharge the gate, OL means the channel is off. If you always get low resistance like 0 to 10 ohms, that's a shorted MOSFET. And if it's always OL with no conduction, that points to an open MOSFET or a failed gate. So, just to recap, identify the pins, use diode mode, test the body diode, trigger the gate to turn it on, discharge the gate to turn it off, analyze your readings, and spot those faulty MOSFETs. Now you not only know how to test a MOSFET, but you also know what those numbers actually mean, and how the internals work. If this helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your fellow techies, and uh, subscribe for more real-world electronics breakdowns.